what's going on with a little more detail in these financial statements. First of all, they are the last, the end result of what you're doing in the accounting process. They're, um, they describe the period value and they also describe what is it, what your business looks like as a snapshot, as we mentioned. The things that you have to know about are called income statement, balance sheet, and statement of cash flows. Not everybody uses the same terms. Not everybody does it the same way. They're not all the same. They're not all equal. People establish different accounts. And we'll talk about that also. They have they establish what's called a chart of account. That is how you want to look at your business. You have flexibility in that. There's not there are rules in the sense of what generally accepted accounting principles are, but notice they're generally accepted accounting principles. They're not laws, they're not facts. You don't have to follow them the way that you see convention. You follow them so that people understand what you're doing, but you actually de design them for your company to make it work for you as an organization. These things are there for you to be uh, to understand better what's happening in your in your financials, what's happening in your company, the common set of facts that everyone in the organization can understand. Different countries have different ones. Um, and there are certain concepts that you really want to understand how to pull them out of all of the numbers. And that's one of the things that we're, we're going to be thinking about. Let me just mention here that there are multiple terms. So there's two things when you think about financial statements and accounting and companies. The first is that there are things that are common. The principles, the fundamental equation of accounting, uh, the, the kinds of ideas that we're talking about, about how you interpret and understand the financials are the same. But the specific implementation and the specific names that people can give to various things vary. So you you really do have to understand what is meant by that. So if somebody says to you, what is this account? You don't necessarily know until you look into the details of how they define it in their own financial statements. For example, We've been talking about revenue. Revenue is the money that comes in from customers, but it's also called sales. Sometimes people will say, what are your sales? And someone else will say, what are your revenues? And they're essentially equivalent. When you really get into large financial statements and actual accounting, those of you that are studying the accounting or are going to go deeply into it, will know that there actually are slight differences that can, can, can be identified in what is the, what a sales is, which gener sales generally mean there's a customer that's paying you. Revenue generally means that it's a customer that's paying you, or somebody might be giving you money. You might get you might get money because of other activities that are occurring in your business. Like you might have some some uh, some fees that come in that aren't really customers paying it. It's just a fee from transaction. That is still a revenue. But you wouldn't necessarily call it a sales, although because no one's buying something, it's just being that fee is being charged. But at the same time, the terms are generally equivalent. OK, same is true. You could say goods or services sold. Sometimes people say that. So revenue has other names. So one of the first things you do if you have a, someone ask you a question and you want to buy some time is you say, um, how do you define revenue? Does it include just customer sales or do you include various fees and that sort of thing, right? So you really want to understand what people are saying. And this is the one that's the easiest. Other, um, other terms can also be interchanged. For example, one might say gross profit. People sometimes say gross revenue. What does that mean? All right, that's another one. I don't use that term because it is so, um, it, it, it is ambiguous because sometimes people think of it as gross profit, which is not right, at least as I interpret it. But gross revenue is what actually comes in the door and you might have additional uh, people. Other people might make money before it gets to your door. The end price is what people pay, but there might be some fees to get that money to you. And so it might be less than that. So it's a little bit less. But at any rate, Gross profit, what that means is the sales minus the amount of money it costs you to put that product on the shelf, if you will, 
Other people call it gross income, gross earnings, gross. The term gross. The term gross generally means whenever you add something like profit or income or earnings, which is a profit idea, generally means that it's the sales that customers pay less the obvious variable variable costs that have to be paid in order to get that revenue. I can't, if I'm a retail shop, I can't get revenue for someone buying a pair of pants from me unless that pair of pants is on the shelf. So that pair of pants costs me money to put there. So my gross profit is what the customer gives me for the pants minus or less what I have to pay the supplier so that I could have those pants on the shelf. And that's your gross profit because you're still trying to run a business with what's left over, right? So that's what that means. But again, you can see there's multiple terms. Operating income is sometimes operating profit. The, the term that I like to use personally is earnings before interest and taxes because it's quite specific. What it says to you is that this is the in, income or the earnings that comes from your operations and you don't have to pay, in this case, interest which goes to your banker or your creditors and taxes, which goes to your government or your municipality. And so therefore this is the interest that comes just from the income profit that comes just from your operating the business before you pay off your other stakeholders like the bankers and like the government. So interest before interest in taxes is, it's actually this one, interest uh, earnings before interest in taxes, which um, is the preferred uh, the term I prefer, but other people use the others. Earnings versus income, for example, people might use, but this is also often used in the financial literature. But all of them mean the same thing. What they mean is you're running a business, you've paid all your bills, but you haven't paid the bank and you haven't paid the government. How much profit do you get when you're running your business and you've paid all your bills, except you haven't paid the banks and the government. That's what operating income is. Once you pay the banks, you have income before taxes, which also earning before taxes, profit before taxes. And then once you pay taxes, that is your net income, which is the same as your earnings. Earnings after taxes, people might call it, but net income is a very common term. That is really how much goes to the owners. Profit after taxes, earnings after taxes, or net income. And then income available to common shareholders is net income less what has to go to preferred shareholders, which oftentimes have an interest payment associated with them. This is only the most common and important terms. All of your accounts in a business have similar terms that people throw around. As an accountant, you know specifically what you're referring to. But as a manager, it's easy to get to get misinformation or not not get the accurate information or to misinterpret what you're hearing because there's so many equivalent terms that we hear about in um, in the business environment so those are some of the key terms that we're talking about um, that that are helpful in understanding what is what the financial statements are and how they work and then we'll go on in a second and talk in more detail about the income statement any questions on the overview so far. Okay. Let's dive in to the most commonly used by operating managers, which is the income statement. That is the the view 